The biggest part of President Obama's health care overhaul is less than a week away from being implemented. But many Americans and North Texans are still confused and maybe even a little nervous about it. They're not sure what they still have to do. And Fox Force Melissa Cutler will answer that question about what people need to do to get it done. Melissa. You know, Steve, if you are interested in accessing the new health care exchanges, this is the website you have to go to. It is healthcare. Dot gov. And as you can see, it's got a couple of tabs that you can uh, hit on, individuals and families, small businesses, um, all topics for generalized questions. It's basically open enrollment for anybody who wants or needs health insurance, but how it affects individuals will vary greatly. <laughs> Going to the doctor is sometimes painful. Paying for it can be, too. But the Affordable Health Care Act, commonly known as Obamacare, is supposed to provide relief for families and individuals who have, until now, not been able to afford health insurance. Come October 1st, Americans can buy health insurance from health exchanges, a sort of health insurance marketplace, accessed through its government website, healthcare.gov. The uninsured can compare different insurance plans and see if they qualify for tax credits. Some exchanges will be run by states, but here in Texas, which opted out of running its own exchange, will be run by the feds. You'll have lots of choices. The prices will vary. They are designed for those like Evelyn Hernandez. I am that person that is uninsured. Some families will pay more for health insurance. Others will pay less. Millions of people have never had a choice. That changes on Tuesday. In Texas, it's about 5 million uninsured. Sibelius admitted there will be problems. I'm sure that everything won't work totally smoothly. And if the system crashes, Sibelius says there'll be a team of experts on hand 24-7 to fix problems. But we have built-in redundancies to the IT system. We have backups in place. We have backups to the backups in place. Now, regarding glitches, potential glitches as well, we've already found potentially one. If you see here, how do I get help? Let's say that you're looking to sign up for this and you immediately feel a little bit overwhelmed. If you click on that icon and go to the bottom as it asks you to do and you're asked to enter a zip code, we're going to put in here the station zip code here in downtown Dallas. Um, say you live in one of the high-rises, you're looking to sign up, you could see that uh, the total results is zero, which means there's really no assigned help for you in order to answer your questions locally. So that'll be one of the things, Steve, that will surely be addressed in the upcoming months. They say they have a window of several months, four to six months, to work out the kinks. And, and I'm that's sure this a kink. probably will <laughs> be one kink. of them. You can yeah, bet. Yeah, that's a kink. Melissa Cutler, thank you.